Welcome to Ballheaded Metal, guys, and welcome back to another reaction to a new band by the name of Isorophobia with the song Deadbed. This particular reaction comes by way of a Patreon request. Fred, this one's for you, my man. They come from Queens, so it's my local boys. It's somebody I know from the city, which is really, really cool. Uh, I don't know a lot of New York bands, like, you know, Emulation, Anthrax, maybe a couple more. Uh, Beastie Boys, for those who are hip-hop fans. Uh, but for the most part, New York, I don't think is really known for a lot of heavy metal. Uh, so we got some New Jersey from Overkill and stuff like that. Let's see what this is all about. Let's see if I enjoy it. I have no idea what to expect. By the name of that, it's either death metal, thrash metal, something heavy. So I'm going to jump into it with an open mind. Hopefully I like it. Yeah, by the, by the logo, it has to be uh, death metal. Yeah, it's like death metal and death core combined together. It has the, the heaviness of like an old school death metal band, but it has the rhythm of a death core. And I guess that's what death core is. Shit. Uh, but it's like, um, I don't know, there's like this thing that I like it, but right now one foot is back a little bit because I'm not sure about it. You know, I'm really loving that violin. I'm thinking it's a violin, or at least a violin sample. And I like that rhythm. And dun, 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 dun. I would think it's like four beats per measure. I like that constant rhythm, but the fact that it doesn't change does make it feel a little bit monotonous. Uh, that there is no some kind of a tempo change, or it's not a little faster, it's not a little slower. It doesn't have to be, you know, uh, five by six or something like that. Um, there's interesting a lot of interesting elements that are they, they stand out to be something different but at the same time the the songwriting like they have good riffs but it feels like the songwriting and how it all comes together needs a little bit of work at least that's my first initial impression of two minutes into it and yeah I, I can't put my finger on it
I'm not sure about the visuals. I mean, I think the the, the, the visualizer is almost unnecessary. It's like just one thing the whole time. Um, deathbed. I guess the guy sleeps so much that he's basically. I don't know, does it earn, I guess, with his ashes? I don't know what the visuals are. I'm, I'm not really concerned about it. The song does grow on me as the time goes by. I think there's, like, this would get me interested to check out the band more and what to see what they're all about and kind of what they present themselves as. Um, but I think the problem now is, and I'm going to bring up a point that's true for movies, it's true for video games, there's an overabundance of good media now. There's too much. I turn on Netflix and almost like every month there's another five shows that potentially I'd want to watch. And I'm like, I don't have time for all of them. I have to be picky. Like I just started watching Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power. I'm enjoying it. But then there's like Sandman and then there's this show and, and Andor is coming out. And now there's a She-Hulk. It's like, I can't keep up with all this. Like, how can you watch all of the content? It's impossible. Same thing something happening with video games and sure as hell, same is happening with the music. It's just an overabundance. So it's unfair because smaller bands don't get the play that they deserve uh, or at the very least should be getting because the big bands that people kind of grown up with or the ones that are getting a whole lot, everybody's talking about them. You know, when Squid Games came out, everybody talked about Squid Games. So that's what everybody wanted to watch because it was that cultural phenomenon, whereas there was probably other shows that were equally as good in quality, but nobody knows about them. And that's going to be, I think, unfortunately, something that's going to happen is serophobia, at least until they kind of grow a little bit more. You know, I listen to Lauren Ashore, and I know everybody is reacting to them and enjoying them, and people are talking about them. So you naturally get curious, like, is it really as good as everybody else, they say, versus taking the risk on a new band that potentially you might listen an hour into it and be like, oh, but I, I could have listened to something else instead with my limited amount of time. It's an unfortunate side effects of... Uh, globalization and just kind of total total overstimulus of content uh but i think there is something interesting here it's not boring it is not um lazy there's this room for growth for sure uh, but already there's there's a hook where it has its own vibe to it uh and let's just finish up and see what we got else Yeah, I would want to check out more from this band. I think they, they warrant something, at the very least, to check out a couple more songs. You know, maybe I'll do it on my own. If you guys have suggestions where I should check out, let, let me know down below in the comments. And those who kind of joined in with me to check out this particular song and you weren't aware of this band, this happens a lot. Uh, what is your opinion of it? What do you think about this particular song? Do you agree with some of the things I said? Disagree? Let's start a conversation because I think it's interesting to have this back and forth. It doesn't always have to be positive as long as you are respectful, I think. And I think we all have room for growth and improvement. That's kind of where our comp place our come from. It's not more about crapping on the band. It's more about, well, this is how I felt. And perhaps maybe there's other people that felt the same way. And that's why we have the different tastes that we have. Uh, and if you guys enjoy these style of reactions where I try to be a little bit more analytical about how I personally feel, please, guys, subscribe down below. Give in your requests as well. I try to take in, I haven't been getting as many requests recently. Uh, it'll be on particular bands you guys want me to check out. I want a lot more requests from you guys, so I'm throwing it out there. And enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe out there. And keep it metal.